Vice President Kamala Harris made her first campaign stop as the likely Democratic nominee for president, taking the stage in the swing state of Wisconsin, just a few miles from Milwaukee. Our Sabrina Franza is there and joins us live. Sabrina, what was the reaction like in the room? Joe Marie, supporters of the vice president said this is the first time they felt hope since former President Barack Obama was a Democratic nominee. And Vice President Kamala Harris wasted no time distinguishing herself from former President Donald Trump. As a prosecutor, I specialized in cases involving sexual abuse. Well, Trump was found liable for committing sexual abuse. As Attorney General of California, I took on the big Wall Street banks and held them accountable for fraud. <laughs> Donald Trump was just found guilty of fraud on 34 counts. It's been a busy two days for Vice President Kamala Harris, landing in Milwaukee after raising $100 million between Sunday afternoon and last night. CBS News now estimates she has received the endorsement of the majority of Democratic delegates, which, if that holds, would make her the Democratic nominee for president in a roll call vote. She started her first address as a presidential candidate by thanking President Joe Biden for his work and for his endorsement. Then she touched on some of the Democrats' key policy objectives, supporting union workers, providing health care and paid family leave to all Americans, passing legislation that would reinforce reproductive freedom and establish universal background checks for those looking to purchase a firearm. We spoke with Wisconsin voters in the swing state who came to support her. It was, it was incredible. There were so many people and the energy was just feeding off itself. You know, I think we're just ready for, we're ready for a female, we're ready for an African American, we're ready to make some change, we're ready to get positive. When you listen to her speak, it's about unity, it's about bringing people together. That's the big difference. You hear her speak and you hear her speaking for everybody and not a select group of people. Security was incredibly tight here outside of Milwaukee. The Harris campaign telling us that this was the largest campaign event they have ever hosted. Around 3,000 people here in attendance. Joe, Marie. Thanks, Sabrina.